Carl Barks and Floyd Gottfriedson met on December of 1982 and again on the occasion of Mickey Mouse's 55th birthday in the fall of 1983 in Burbank, California, to record an historic interview where they exchanged thoughts of their respective careers. A classic moment from this interview, conducted by Bruce Hamilton, follows. I want you each to name the two stories that you did that you personally liked. I don't really know, but I, I'd have trouble uh, picking two out of three of them. They would be Island in the Sky, Blackguard Castle, and the Phantom Lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think your reactions are pretty much, uh, would pretty much agree with, uh, with collectors. Their reactions are about the same. Yeah, I think. Uh, if you were to pick one, which one would it be of the two? Probably Island in the Sky. Have more fun with it. I wouldn't say it's a professional. Although I've got the highest uh, praise, Ray Bradbury says he read that. That was back in 1932, and he said he couldn't believe the knowledge we had of atomic power at that time. We had no knowledge at all. But just faked it all. For that reason, he uh, wanted to meet me later on, and I almost met him for a lunch one time, but I had something else to do and couldn't do it. So I missed the chance. Hmm. Well, maybe one of these times we can set up a little meeting where all of us can have lunch. Yes, I, that would be great. Carl? Well, you did about <coughs> 500 stories. Uh, want to pick out about two or three? The one, the one that I like best now after all these years and looking back over the whole chain of them that I did was Islands in the Sky. <laughs> now I did one, you know. You can't have that one. <laughs> it's, in, it's in the uh, Uncle Scrooge book. Oh, it is, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll be done. Uh, Uncle Scrooge and the duck go up to the asteroid find an asteroid where he could oh, I'll be store sorry. his money. There's two asteroids, one with all the fruit and vegetables on it, and the other one a barren rock. Uh, and there's a poor little tribe of little pygmy Indians that live on this barren rock. The only food they have is the eggs from the birds that come over from the fruitful island, uh, or the fruitful asteroid, to lay their eggs on this barren one. Oh, that sounds great. I, I and, uh, it might be ended up with old Uncle Scrooge stretching a rope from the barren yeah. island across to the uh, fruitful island so the little guys could all climb that rope and get over to this happy hunting ground, uh, a real uh, heaven, uh, at the risk of his own life and at the risk of the duck's life. He just barely made it back. Space Wheel 5, where he had to pay, I think, $5,000 a pint for regular rocket fuel. But that story had a lot of, uh, of punch to it. Yeah, those things are fun. I find that uh, really very interesting with the kind of a, you know, a little bit of a parallel there. Uh, yeah. In having favorite stories that uh, were of this, uh, but really that was uh, really the science fiction in both cases. Yes, they were science fiction. Uh, you're not going to get by with only naming one. I want you to name at least one, maybe two more. Well, uh, I've always said that uh, technically my best written story was the one of the square eight. That's a lot of Yeah, that had a gig just about every page. Very well constructed story. And it had a kind of a little pathetic ending, a little yeah, twist little of the heart string. Well I can't uh, I just I can't resist asking you to name one more as long as you're at it. Uh, the first one was a real surprise and the second one was no surprise. Do you have one that's uh, uh, a third one that may or may not be a surprise? Well, I would say in old California, 
That was one that had uh, a little bit tugged at the heartstrings. It should be noted that the 1932 date referred to by Floyd Gottfriedson was really 1937. Floyd passed away on July 22, 1986, at the age of 81. Having discussed Mickey Mouse in color at considerable length, he was looking forward to its publication. The book and this record are respectfully dedicated to his memory.